Hey fucks, Mad Mike here, and today I am vlogging my trip to go see Creator in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is June 8th right now, it is 8 in the fucking morning, I'm tired as balls, full of coffee, it has not kicked in yet, and I'm at my girlfriend's house, getting ready to leave, and it's gonna be a train ride there, and I'm gonna have a fun day in very smoke-filled Toronto right now. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I am currently on the bus, masked up, because it is a little, a little smoggy right now. So, uh, yeah, but I am on the GO bus on my way to Burlington, and then I will be transferring to Toronto, or to a train to go to Union Station. Yeah, this is going to be a fun trip. But yeah, look outside. That is downtown Niagara Falls. Look how, look how prosperous it is. at my transfer spot in Burlington, Ontario. I'm wearing a mask right now because it, you can smell the smoke. It's insane. Oh, damn. Yeah, too bad cameras don't have a sense of smell. But I'm sure I'm just spreading fake news. A few minutes later. All right, I can take my mask back off. I am currently on a train in Burlington, heading for Toronto. This has been a fun trip so far. I've seen a lot of haze, a lot of haze in the sky, and you can probably see it too. Camera probably doesn't make it look as good, but yeah, that is what we're doing right now. I'm excited, I'm excited like nine hours till creator or something like that. Yeah. Just got off the train in Toronto, currently at Union Station. Beautiful place. Everything feels faster here, it's weird. Hey everyone, I'm chiming in here from the future. So the reason I wasn't able to get this vlog out anytime sooner is because I, like a fucking moron, saw how nice it was in Toronto, surprisingly, and decided that, hey, it's not that smoggy here, I don't really need a mask. And I went maskless in Toronto when the wildfires were still going on. And it took me an entire week for my voice to get back to normal and string together two sentences without coughing my lungs out. Dumbass! <laughs> So once I got to Toronto, I decided to go sightseeing for a little bit, walked by Union Station, walked on Young Street, checked out a whole bunch of big buildings, stopped at the Hockey Hall of Fame, took a picture of my boy Alfie on the wall, and then I walked to my hotel, which was the Fillmore's. All right, might be a little too noisy, but I checked into my hotel. <coughs> so I'm all settled in here now. Took a shower because I stunk like a fucking dog and was sweaty and I probably had a lot of smoke residue on me. And those are police sirens outside of my fucking window. But yeah, now I am ready to go eat, go shop, go hit up the town. Fuck yeah. So one funny thing that I didn't mention during that whole spiel there was the Fillmore's is a hotel slash strip club. And that's when I realized, oh, wow, that's why this hotel was so cheap. But anyways, I left the hotel and went for a walk on the town and I was joined by somebody. Hey fucks, I am right now being joined by a Toronto legend. A legend is a little 
Legend is putting it a little strongly, but I am flattered. Well, good thing gerrymander isn't here. <laughs> oh, gerrymander would not like Toronto. And of course, we come to Toronto to buy some fucking records at Sonic Boom. Are you excited? Fuck yeah, bro. Hell yeah. If you are in the city ever and you love collecting vinyls, this is the place for you. It is fucking awesome. We grabbed a bite to eat at this place called Allen's, pretty close to the Danforth Music Hall. In fact, it's like right next fucking door. <laughs> then once we were done, we finally got to Danforth Music Hall. Meltdown's wife met up with us. We went inside, hung out for a bit, grabbed some shots, and then the bands came on. Awesome. You guys probably can't hear me right now, but damn. Death Angel was just on stage. They absolutely brought it. They didn't play Thrashers or Kill as one, so I'm a little bit disappointed, but honestly, they fucking brought it. Their singer still has it. Man, it's awesome. It's awesome. I got a beer. So for a creator show, I only got three seconds worth of footage and it's right here. The reason I got so little is because once they got on, I pretty much gave my phone to Meltdown and went straight in the pit and this was the result. I was in the pit for creator the entire time. My voice is dead. Yeah. Sorry I didn't get any footage for creator folks, but my voice is dead. I'm gassed. I'm just gonna enjoy Sepultura and sit back.
So after the show, we hung out for a few more hours. We hung out at Meltdown's house for a little bit. I got to meet Chompy. And overall, it was a fantastic day in a fantastic city, hanging out with fantastic people and seeing some fantastic bands. And also, if I haven't said it in this video yet, I do want to thank Metal Meltdown and his wife, Anna, for being so friendly to me and being so welcoming to me and being so patient with me as I was trying to figure out the subway system and overall just being as awesome in person as they are on Metal Meltdown's YouTube channel. So really hats off to them and thank you very much for watching this vlog. Bye fucks! Hey fucks. I just woke up. My voice is gone. My body is in pain. My fucking alarm just went off as I was recording that. That being said, I do want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And there will be another vlog of another concert I'll be going to in September. Who am I watching? You'll find out. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye, fucks.